All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Thanks for Sharing. Uh, I'm Eric B. with... And uh, I oh. am Allie B. and you're lucky Eric. Yeah, that, that was, I threw you off there a little bit because, again, David's not here. Um, and I'm just gonna call it yeah. out every fucking exactly. time. Yeah, you know, he, he throws off the vibe. He's usually the one to introduce and I don't know. I didn't get a really good reason. It- tonight why he wasn't going to come. I just got like a, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it tonight with an ellipses. And I was like, well, is there going to be anything after that ellipses? And there wasn't. Yeah. You know? But how? No, no. I'll talk to him on Sunday. But how well, How are uh, you, Allie? <laughs> I'm, I'm here. It's humid. Um, you know, we jumped from spring to summer real quick here in the beautiful state of Maryland. Um, but I, I am, I am well. I took a day off today, a wellness nice. day, you know, mental wellness day, and uh, man, it's I am feeling the the effects of it, the good effects of it. Oh, I'm I'm wonderful, Eric. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I am. Uh, it is fucking hot here. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I'm not, so I'm not, it's like, I walked outside this morning, and I was just like, fuck this, like, why, <laughs> why is there so much water in the air right now, this is awful, like, <laughs> like just, is this a southern state, like, I <laughs> like, I, I hate it, I, I fucking hate humidity, you know, like, yeah. you just sweat, like, immediately, mm-hmm. and it's, it just sucks, mm-hmm. Like, uh, but you just feel sticky and gross and uh, irritated. Irritated, yeah, very irritated, very irritated. Mm-hmm. So, your mental wellness day, out of curiosity, yeah. how how is your work going with like COVID? You know, going I guess downward for the time being. Like, is your anxiety better with that? Like, or how is that going for you? Because I don't know. I would be like, you know, going like my anxiety would be like fucking crazy because I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm like working around people who might have this. But how are you doing with that? Um, so I, you know, at first I was kind of like, this is not, it's not going to be that bad, but I'm in denial. And then like my anxiety like skyrocketed. And then like I had to go through the emotions and experiences and acceptance and all that beautiful process. And then it, it kind of, you know, once it started to slow down or like the curve started to calm down, um, it was like, oh, I can breathe again. Okay, good. But now that like stuff's starting to reopen and life is somewhat getting back to somewhat normal or like what our new normal is going to be, I feel like it's starting to go back up because now I'm like, oh, are we going to have this second wave? Are, you know, are more people going to be getting sick? Uh, like, what is this going to look like? Are you fear in the future. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, and that scares me. And if I like sit and think about it, um, you know, I can get a lot of anxiety and fear. Um, but I just keep reminding myself, like, I haven't gotten it so far. What I'm doing must be working, right? Because I have been exposed to COVID patients. Um, and, like, I'm just so grateful for the PPE that we do have. You know, like, it might not be, um, like, ideal or whatever, um, but it's working. I haven't gotten it so far, and I am grateful for that. And uh, I'm just really glad that, like... I feel okay to see my parents again um, and, like, friends um, and family. Like, last weekend I went, and I think twins. They're um, almost two. Um, and, like, I miss them. And, like, this is, like, such a stage where they're growing, and I felt like I couldn't see them. My sister's a nurse, by the way, so, like, I don't know why I felt like I couldn't go see them. She's also a nurse in an, in an ER, so she sees COVID patients, but, like, that fear of them getting sick and me always wondering, like, oh, my God, was it me? Prevented me from living my life. Mm. Um, so I have worked past that fear. Um, so I went and saw them last weekend. And, you know, it's just, I feel like uh, a human again. I feel like I can breathe again. Um, but there's still, like, that level of uh, what's going to happen next? But, like, I just, you know, I feel next when next shows up. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's good yeah. to, like, yeah. have that feeling of, like, new normal, I guess. Or less less anxiety yeah. isolation, right? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, I can't do these things because I don't want to, you know, get anybody else sick. When it's like, okay, like, I am not sick. So why would I get somebody else sick? And as long as I use the same precautions that I do at work around my loved ones, I'll be fine. You know, yeah. Type of thing. But like, I, at first was like, I can't do anything. I can't go out of the house. I can't, sorry, I gotta adjust my own here. I can't, you know, go to the store. I, I, I'm scared. Like I was so scared to, you know, give it to somebody else. But now that fear is, um, like, and I didn't even have it. Like I don't even have symptoms, but you know, my, my disease mind is like, you're going to get everyone sick. You're going to make it to zero. It's going to be whatever. Like, <laughs> Yeah, so that's wrong, and I'm happy with that. Cool. So just for, just for today, though. Just it's always <laughs> just for today, right? <laughs> so, yep. So just this moment, in this moment. So our topic today that we're going to talk about is something I guess that makes sense since we were just taking people's inventory and shitting on them before yeah. this episode. Um, Oh, you do. <laughs> is uh, principles before personalities. Um, so do you want me to go first, Allie? Or do you want to go first? On Yeah. You want me to go first? Or you? Yeah, you go first. Okay. You go first. Okay. Um, principles before personalities. So I'll probably have, like, some hot takes in here. And, you know, if, if there's a... Uh, if you don't like them, that's okay. Um, and mm -hmm. I, I think whatever, you know, works for you, like fucking right. Like, you know, this is just what works for me. And, uh, I don't love everyone in meetings. Um, I'll be, I'll be up front. Um, there's certain people I just flat out dislike. Um, and because I dislike them, I'm not going to love them. I actually reserve, and this is just me, the, I'm going to we're going to love you until you learn to love yourself. Don't look for that from me. I reserve love for certain people. And I, like, personally don't have enough of myself to give to everyone. And that's, that's probably very, like, harsh in a certain way. But, like, I'm also not going to tell you I love you if I don't. Um, because I also feel like I'm kind of robbing you from, I guess, you know, actual love. Uh, because if someone comes up and hugs me after a meeting and says like, oh man, I love you. And I'm like, I've never met you. Uh, then I don't know. I feel like the word loses a little bit of its meaning, but that's, that's, yeah, yeah kind of, you know what I mean? Like. It's just like... Yeah, you can't... That's not a word you throw around. Yeah. And that's why I don't love everyone who comes to a meeting. Um, because I, I hold that word to have more value than just something I would say casually to someone. Um, mm -hmm. But per, uh, principles before personalities is more like... Looking at it from, let's look at it from like a home group level, right? And I, I don't like what someone wants to do, right? And maybe I don't even like the person, um, but they're in my home group. So in theory, your home group is like your, you know, your family. Um, it's it's your home. Yeah. Um, so just because I don't like them. Uh, it doesn't mean that I destruct the unit because of my dislike. Mm -hmm. So in that situation, I have to take the principles I learned in recovery and put them before the personality. Um, and mm -hmm. there are things we can do, right? We can, like, leave the fucking home group. Like, and I've done that. Like, if I don't like someone, I'm not going to continue. Like, I've stopped going to meetings because I don't like certain people, at, like, in the home group. Uh and I think that's fine, right? Like, you know, if 
principles before personalities doesn't mean enduring personalities and like being like a spiritual giant. It like means you can remove yourself from those personalities and just not fucking deal with those people if they bring you down. Uh, it's but mm-hmm. in the concept of a meeting or in like you know anything else like your family, your work, you don't destruct like and sabotage you know something because you don't like the people involved you try to like better it and you know live by the principles we learn in recovery to you know make it a more cohesive um you know function more cohesively rather than fucking like oh i I don't like john so i'm going to like try to sabotage his project uh, because I don't like him and that's going to hurt us. And it's like, no, like, you know, we're all in this together, so we need to help each other. And, like, if a newcomer is, like, coming in and, like, maybe that newcomer doesn't, like, you know, vibe with me, but they're going to vibe with the person that I don't like, like, I'll point them in the direction because, like, it's not about me. It's about the principles of the program. And if I can't help that person and someone I think is a douche can, like, I want that person to be helped, even if they're a douche. Like, they don't deserve to be, like, you know, just because I don't like them doesn't mean they deserve, like, hatred and, you know, the worst of things. Yeah, bashing and, yeah. Yeah. Being, like, isolated. Yeah. What do you think, Ellie? <laughs> So I, like, hate this about myself, but, like, I feel like I'm going to give the quintessential, like, this is the correct NA answer <laughs> to this topic. Um, but, like, I'm going to have, like, a couple folds, so, like, bear with the shit I'm about to say. Um, like, I think for me, like, principles before personalities is, like, I might have a totally different mindset or belief system or experience or, like, goal. I mean, like, obviously, other than to stay clean, than someone. But, like, at the end of the day, if someone that's new comes in or, like, someone asks for help, I hope we can get together despite our differences and help that person. Like, that's what kind of, for me, makes home groups home groups. So, like, there's so many different people within this, like, area, right, this space. Mm-hmm. And uh, everybody's slightly different. Everybody, like, could you imagine how fucking lame it would be to walk into an NA meeting and everybody was, like, wearing the same outfit, looking the same shit? I've been there before. And it's awkward as fuck. Like, you know, it's like everybody has the same purse. And you're like, wow, this is, like, really independent thinking, huh? Like, <laughs> it's just, it's awkward. It's a turn off for me, right? For you, if that's what you want, man, good for you. Fucking find it. You can find it, I'm sure. But, like... In my home group, there's a lot of, like, we have strong personality. We're opinionated. We're, like, I'm opinionated. I'm loud. I am obviously the most right person. And, like, my opinion is correct. Like, you are okay. Like, I see your point. However, you know, let's go back to what I have to say. Um, you know, it's about, like, putting that bullshit to the side um, and, like, making sure that the fucking meeting's open for people for the sick and suffering, like the person that's coming in for the first time or the person that's coming back from a relapse or a slip or the person that hasn't been to any meeting in a long time and feels really disconnected but just wants to feel at home. Like, can I put our petty differences aside and, like, get this meeting set up and coffee and, like, work together as a unit to see that that happens? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, on the other side of it, that, so that's like the quintessential guy, like, let me get the proper NA answer, answer. But like, my, my, like, personal part in it is like, dude, I, you know, I'm a big energy person. Like, I believe everybody's got a vibe they kick off, like, whatever. Like, and I mean, you can have like, you know, bad vibes, weird vibes, whatever. And I'm still gonna like, not judge you for it because like maybe you're just at a weird spot and you're like maybe you got some shit going on with you you haven't dealt with yet but like there's also people that like just I don't fucking like right like I don't like who you are I don't like your choices I don't like your character I don't like that you try to represent an A right like how about that like I don't like what you're about I don't like the fact that you say one thing and do something different like I you know so that um principles before personality is like 
that part I struggle with because like I want to be the first person to tell you about yourself <laughs> right like I want to be the first person to be like hey I really see that you just said all of this good sharing shit however when you left the meeting you fucking did this um you know so like I can look at them as being so sick right and uh, I can try to find some level of empathy for them However, like you said, Eric, I'm not going to hang out with you. I'm not going to, like, go to dinner with you after the meeting and try to be, like, your best friend because that what would that look like to somebody else, like a newcomer? Like, I would look fake. I would look like I didn't have any integrity or I would say one thing and then act a different way. And that's what I don't like that person for. <laughs> so, like, I will hug you. I will acknowledge you as a human being and a recovering addict or sick and suffering addict or whatever you might be, um, you know, or wherever you might be, let me say, uh, whatever. Um, but like, I'm not gonna, um, bend my boundaries or bend my personal belief systems to like be your best friend or like try to change who you are. I'm just going to steer clear. And I'm not going to go to your home group. I'm not going to, you know, well, that's a lie. Like, I'm not going to hold, a, like, one person to a whole home group. I'm going to try not to do that. But um, it shit happened at some meetings that I'm like, I don't really like anybody in this meeting. This is kind of awkward. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why I am mean, I here? <laughs> there's, there's so many meetings around here that it's it's easy to go to a meeting and be like, this, oh, man, fuck this place. Like, yeah. you know? like Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like I, um, I just try to find like for me it works if I try to find one thing that I can like relate to for, for that person, and it helps me gain a little bit of empathy for them. Like I think that the the like principles before personalities for me, like I have to have empathy in order to have application of that. Mm. Like I have to have a little bit of understanding, a little bit of compassion and a whole lot of patience. And that's the area that I struggle with the most. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't always have the patience to deal with somebody that I, I don't like, but like, I don't have to go on vacation with you. I don't have to like do workshops and go to conventions and you know, all of that. Um, I do have that you know, freedom to choose who I hang out with and who's in my network. Um, I remember I was, like, really struggling with somebody for a while. And I don't even know if they were, like, in NA, to be honest. I think it was, like, a co-worker. I, like, could not stand this person. And, like, if they were in the same room as me breathing, I was, like, angry. And I was giving them my power, essentially. So, like, they didn't know that I didn't like them and that they pissed me off, like, anything that they did. So, like, the moment they walked in the room, I was, like, my good mood was gone. Like, my smile was gone. I was angry, hostile, like. Oh, just you know whatever like I just totally let them affect my my vibe affect who I was affect my spirit and um so I like came to my sponsor with it and I was like yeah I really have to my sponsor at the time who is an angel I love her um she gave me a lot of good advice and she said you need to pray for that person and I was like I'm sorry what <laughs> <laughs> at the time in my life I was not not about that like I was just like no fuck them like you know um, I don't, I don't want to do anything good for them. Um, and she's like, well, if you want freedom from it, you're going to have to pray for that person. She's like, yeah, but it doesn't have to be like a long, like religious prayer or like a ritual thing. She's like, just say when they anger you or when you, you know, you can't stand them or something or it's starting to affect your spirit, just say, God bless them, change me. Right. Just as simple as that. And, uh, like, I still do that to the day when I have like, oh, the other day, yesterday, I just did. I'm, like, trying to turn, but I don't want to block a lane. So, like, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to block the turn into a parking lot. So, mm-hmm. I'm not moving forward because there's lights around. I can't go anywhere. And the guy behind me is, like, blaring his horn. He's infuriated that I'm not, that I'm giving space. I don't know what it was. He was probably having a bad day. Anyway, um, like, I was, like, my first thought was <laughs> to get out in my car and, like, you know, knock on his window and be like, so, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you that dumb? And just tell him about himself, right? <laughs> like I said that prayer, like, God bless him, change me. And, like, instantly, I felt better. Instantly, that anger was gone. Instantly, the resentment, the whatever that I felt towards that person was gone. And um, I could live my life again. And, like, man, it helps. It, it helps me tremendously. Um, you know, I don't always, like, remember to pray that prayer before I act out. Um, 
you know, but like when I do, um, I don't have to put them on my phone stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't have to put them on my eight. I don't have to put them on my uh, my eight step. You know, I don't have to go back and um, make an amend. Usually, I do it right then and there. I'm like, wow, that was totally uncalled for. And I have to do it for people in my own group. Um, you know, just like maybe even I didn't think um, at the time what I was saying was rude or harsh, but like reflecting back, I'm like, wow, that was. Like, maybe I might not have agreed with what they were saying, but I didn't have to behave the way that I did kind of thing. Mm. Um, so, like, yeah. I don't know. That's, um, it's a hard one. And it's something that takes... I don't think I'm ever going to perfect it. And there's always going to be that one person, you know, or, like, two, three, whatever, however many people. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's always like changing, that. right? Like, there's always new people coming in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, 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 like what the feelings are there, but the face changes over yeah. time. Um, but yeah, like you said, like it's just about you know not bashing them or making them feel less than. It's just not associating with them. Yeah, I mean they have value. Like, and I, I think that's like yeah. one of the things. And it's funny, my sponsor, the the way that he uh, would always like, he would point to someone and be like, you know, he's like, I don't like that person. But, you know, they're, they're just a sick and suffering. And he would say they're a sick and suffering child of, child of God. And they, like and that's, like, his little prayer for them. To be like, they that's just who yeah. they are. And, like, you got to accept who they are. But, like, there's people who probably come in to meetings and are like, well, and they look at me and they're like, well, fuck that guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and so why i'm sure it happened with me but like no, but, but you know what i mean and it's like but but the important thing is that we're not all the same and that those people can help people that we can't and i i, I think that's what yeah. i always think about now is just like you know that i don't know that like super like uh drinks like protein shakes and goes to the gym for two hours and like I don't I don't fucking know like a bro like that guy yeah like I'm not the dude yeah. for you man like I'm not like the person to talk <laughs> no, to bro. you know like but it's kind of just like I don't know there's like a certain type of like this this NA like masculinity weird thing that happens sometimes when people get clean and I'm just like, oh man, that's so weird. Why you, you didn't you weren't like that two months ago? Why are you like this? Okay, whatever. But it's like I am not the person for you to like help you. But there's a bunch of people who are, and like that's fucking awesome. And like I'm not gonna vibe with them, and I'm not gonna like get it. But like I'm happy they're there to help other people that I like am not, I guess, suited to help in that way. You know? Yeah. And I mean, like, you you might, absolutely, like, but there might come a time where, like, they help you or you help them, right? Well, like, yeah. But, yeah. yeah, but you're not going to be, like, best, friend, best friends or you're not going to, yeah, no, I, I get it. You know, I, I get it. There's, there's people in the room that have been in the room since I've been clean that, like, I know. Um, and I acknowledge, but like, I don't think I ever want to spend time with them outside of an NA meeting, you know what I mean? Like, and that's okay, right? Like, that is fucking okay. Like, I don't, I, and it's like you said, it's the love. Like, you don't gotta like them, but you gotta love them. Man, I don't even gotta love them. I just gotta have empathy for them and a little bit of understanding. Mm -hmm. And if that's love, then whatever. Yeah, I mean, at that point, but, it's just a fucking word, right? Like, but I, yeah. I don't know. I, I want to treat love like it has the Disney value, you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I want it, romance. Yeah, I want it to mean something. Like, I, I say it to my wife, yeah. right? Like, I don't say I love you to very many people. I say it to my wife, I'll say it to my animals, and I'll say it to, like, my grandmothers. And that's actually it. That's really it. Like, and I know, like, I just don't feel like it's something you can just throw around. I... I, I don't know, and maybe that's just me and liking Disney movies, and, but like I don't say I love you to my parents, like you know what I mean. But that's like the way I was brought up, so it's just like yeah, I, I don't know. I just I feel like it's a when people say it to everyone, it's a less valued word 
than the emotion is supposed to, like, emote. Yeah. No, I totally get that. However, I grew up in a polar opposite type of household. Like, I, there was one thing, if there was one thing that I was sure of, it was that I was loved. You know, because, like, my parents told me every day, hey, I love you. Not my dad, but my mom, my grandparents, like, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins. Like, we were very, like, I knew I was loved. And, like, I know, so I, like, feel like, okay, I know how loved in a, like, a platonic type thing. Or, like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, like, I love who you are as a person. Like, I love what you represent. I love your actions. I love your thoughts. I love who you are. So, like, I do tell, I tell a lot of fucking people that I love them, but it's only people that, like, I truly fucking love. And, yeah. like, I might say, so I tell, like, my classes, every time I leave them, hey, I love you. Like, just because, like, that might be the only time they hear it that day. Or, like, they might forgot, like, damn, like, I, you know, I am loved. Um, my, you know, like, my husband, of course, like, every time I leave them, I'm like, hi, I love you. Like, just because, you know, and you never know. Like, I shared earlier on the podcast, that dude that I liked, that I was like, oh, let me play this toy with, like, um, I'm not going to tell him how I feel. And then, he, and then he died, right? Like, and I never got a chance to say it. I feel like I have now pushed that into, like, I have to tell people how I feel about him. But, like, definitely, if I do not like you, I am certainly not going to say I love you. You yeah. know, like, but, I like, I, like, David, like, I, I'm pretty sure I've hugged David after having, like, a really awesome conversation. I've been like, I love you. And, like, I, you know, like, I, I do. I, I did in that moment. Um, but like, yeah, it's not, it's something that is reserved for people that I feel that affection towards, whether it be like an, an intimate thing or like a platonic thing, or like, I love the way that you make me feel when I'm around you. Um, you know, there's, there's a certain, it's a, and it's my family, obviously, like my cat, for sure. Like I didn't say like, Oh, look at like, I talked to my plants. Like, Oh my God, you look so pretty. I love how you look today. Whatever. Like. But, like, my, you know, my sponsorship family and, um, like, you know, like a lot of people in the room, um, I, I love them. Like, I really do. But it's, like, people that, like, I have an emotional connection to yes. without a shadow of a doubt. Like, and I want to invest more into that relationship, not just, like, well, yeah, never. And I can get down with that. But not like the, the you know, not like someone that, Universal. yeah, not like everybody, you know what I mean? Not, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of like a name, but then like not someone that we would, you know, that if someone listened to this from our area would be like, are they talking about me? Um, yeah. Yeah, right. but I know. I mean, there's somebody, there's, all, there's always that one person. I'm sure everyone, anyone that is listening to this right now will say, oh my God, it's that person. Because there's always that one person that just says it to everybody as if you're saying goodbye or good night or have mm-hmm. a nice day or how are you? You know, like it's just whatever. It's like a regurgitated thing that just comes out of someone's mouth. And there's there's that person everywhere, I'm sure. Yeah, actually like three of them just but, popped in my head when you said that too. Those people, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, when you said it, I was like, I know exactly. <laughs> or who you are talking about. Like, I mean, my eating space and I might not even be thinking about the same person. I think we probably are. Yeah, we would. Yeah, well, when we, when we, when we end this podcast, um, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to talk about who that is. I, I, I think I know who you're talking about who says I love you to everyone. I have, yeah. like, a clear person in my head. Um, one, one, yeah. like, one very clear person. Uh, one thing before we shut down, though, is, also, you mentioned, like, the, um, oh, shit, the, like, living, like, uh, talking clean but living dirty, and that's something that, yeah. like, infuriates me. Um, yeah. It just, like, I don't know, because a lot of times I feel like the people who do that are trying to go on the convention circuit, and I'm like, wh- what? Like, No. Why? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah, yeah, you're not living Absolutely. the program. You're just like you. You have like a really good like style and stuff. But man, come on, like, ah. Uh, but I. But even like not that stuff. But just like the people who, you know, talk steps and talk recovery, but then like cheat on their girlfriend or cheat on their boyfriend or you know, 
it's a lot of like the you know stepping outside of a relationship stuff bothers me um it, i mean mine is like picking up prostitutes like if you pick up a prostitute and you're in recovery like you are not in fucking recovery because you are still taking advantage of someone who is in a weaker state than you um yeah. like uh what's the other one people who like like to talk shit about everybody or like you know people like i it's like, you know, busting someone's balls is one thing, but, like, people who, like, always just, every time it's something negative, like, mm. always something negative, that bothers me. Yeah. Like, dude. I mean, like, go- no, go- gossip is a defect, and it's hard to get over, but I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. I mean, and there's certain people, and, you know, there's one that comes to mind, and I'm, I'm sure... He came. He would come to your mind too for for gossip, but it's like, I it's it's a fucking virus, and like it just it, it fucking takes people out so quick because, it, I mean it's and like you're talking spiritual shit, but then you're going behind people's back, and like you know fucking gossiping, and it's like man, like you're gonna kill someone, and that's not cool. That's like not fucking cool. Yeah, my thing is, like, how you said, too, with um, people who, like, talk recovery but don't live it. Like, I always think of the poor soul that's coming into the meeting that's new that thinks that that's actually what the fuck recovery is. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that is confusing. That is conflicting. That is, like, oh, I just, it, it makes me, I'm like, you could be someone's only, only visual whatever of, recovery and that's what the fuck you choose to show them like how dare you like I think it's personally as an insult I'm like how dare you do that to us like you know <laughs> I don't know like I don't I don't get it I take it as a, maybe I take it a little bit too personal I have been told I take things personally um, that aren't you know I shouldn't but <laughs> I don't know man I just cause when people do that shit I'm like people are watching you like we're addicts. We watch whatever, everything you do. Mm. So, like, if you're going to say something, be about it. Like, don't just talk about it. Actually be about it. And, like, if you flip, you go ahead. But it's like you say one thing and then you get up from your chair that you just spoke all that good shit about and do the exact opposite of what you were saying you should do. Like, what the fuck? I... I like that. Be what you say. That's uh, yeah. that's it, right? That's that's it in a nutshell. Just do what you say. Yeah. Like not do what I. Really you knowledge. know. Yeah. No, it's an application, man. Totally different. Cool. Cool. Well, uh, I think I think we're. We're about, we're about there. So, um... We are, man. So, Allie, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thank you for sharing. This was good. This was good. This was, uh... It's a very... It helps work through some of the uh, different topics, right? Like, um... But to everyone out there who, uh... Has made it to the end, you know please uh, check us out on all of our social media channels. Join our Patreon. Um, And I hope you guys all have a good week. And please stay safe and stay clean.